coverage of the Rio Dos Futurity Weekend on StallionEsearch.com is brought to you by the Stallions of Cavanaugh Quarter Horses, Good Candy P, and Uncle D. On this preview coverage, we look at the fastest qualifier from day two of the trials. Let's leave a favorite cartel cult trained by Eric Valenzuela. Look at how impressive this trial race was. Probably one of the more impressive trial races to come out of the Rio Dosa Futurity within the last few years, but definitely in 2003. As jockey Sergio Becerro crosses the finish line in front, way ahead of the rest of the field, qualifying as the fastest qualifier going into day two. We were able to talk to trainer Eric Valenzuela about this talented colt going into the finals. Yeah, so this is Let's Leave here. Um, Let's Leave was purchased by Hugo Barron and Mario Perea. He was purchased at the LaSalle sale up in California for $122,000. Um, since they saw him, they liked him. They said, we're not leaving here without this horse. So we're lucky we got him. There was a couple of big buyers there, and we ended up getting him. Um, he was broken at the ranch by Charlie Moreno and Heriberto Martinez. You know, I think that's a big advantage for us that the people who break the horses, they also gallop them. There are gallop guys and there are grooms. You know, we have a big advantage there because they're actually sitting on the horse, they feel the horse, and then they could go ahead and relay it to the jockey. And, and the jockey gives me notes, and together we make a pretty good team, and, and it has showed throughout the entire meet. Um, his first two starts were at the West Texas Trials in Sunland. Um, he showed great speed there. He was having a little trouble in the gates. Um, he would break really slow. Um, what he showed with coming and catching horses and passing horses, we always knew that he was going to get the gates. It was just a matter of time, and when he put it all together, we knew he was going to do something special. Um, he did that in the Ridoso Trials, and everybody saw it. Uh, it wasn't impressive um, how he won the race. For me, it was under the conditions he did it. 16 uh, mile per hour headwind. Um, that was pretty impressive with the time that he posted and how he did it. Uh, to me, he put a complete race together from start to finish to this time, and, and that's what we're excited for. Um, we hope that he could do that for the final, and if he does, then we're sitting in pretty good shape. Introducing the Stallions of Cavanaugh Quarter Horses. Good Candy P, the son of champion runner and champion sire Good Reason SA, is out of the three times stakes producing and multiple graded stakes winning Send This Wagon, a half sister to All American Futurity winner, Just Good Candy. Good Candy P was a $340,000 Riadosa yearling sales graduate and was a finalist with this qualifying effort into the grade one, $1 million Riadosa Futurity. Good Candy P's first crop are yearlings of 2023. Standing at Lazy E Ranch in Guthrie, Oklahoma, is the royally bred Uncle D, the son of the legendary sire Corona Cartel out of the multiple stakes producing mare Little Surfer. Uncle D carries with him the smart money incentive of $50,000, payable to the breeder, owner, and the trainer for any offspring to win a grade one futurity or derby from the first three crops of runners. After a runner-up finished in the Grade 1 Heritage Place Futurity at 2, Uncle D rattled off consecutive stakes wins in the $1 million Grade 1 Rainbow Futurity, and then a win in the All-American Juvenile. Like Good Candy P, the first crop of offspring from Uncle D are yearlings of 2023. Quality and commitment to improving the standard in the sire ranks in Oklahoma. The Stallions of Cavanaugh Quarter Horses.